tongue in my mouth. What? A boy puts his tongue in your mouth because he wants you to bite it off. Oh. Pop, the whole family's decorating in my in arms, arms when I want you. From the South, she would have turned her life into a country song. But since she's from Connecticut, wants to publish it if she can clear one last hurdle. Did, did you just lick your hand and put spit in my hair? Yeah, fixing it. Sorry. Just a little. Okay. Hurt yourself! Are you even? Don't talk. Is everything all right? Hey, hey, do something else, guy. Hey, hey, this guy. Hey, he's gonna <laughs> hit me. What are you doing? Right Come on. Oh, 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 no, no, Spelling my name in hickeys. It's just your first name. Then. <laughs> oh. It's your father. What? Pete, come here. We're taking him in. What? You know the brother of one of those you were with just got sent up for knocking off liquor stores. Did you know that? Yeah, but he's doing really well in prison because he's learning a trade. Oh. <laughs> yeah. How am I going to tell my parents about this? I can't even talk to them about the weather. How am I supposed to tell them that I committed a mortal sin? Okay, okay. A mortal sin! Okay, okay. I know, I know, I understand. Okay, calm down. We'll practice. Pretend that I'm your parents. Okay, you'll just say what you're going to say. You'll get through it. Okay, just tell it to me like you would tell it to them. Okay. Mom. Pop. Yeah? I don't know how to tell you this. What? I'm pregnant. My daughter's a tramp. My daughter's a tramp. My daughter's a tramp! You're 15 years old. How can you do this to me? You make me sick to my stomach. Why don't you just take my gun? Take my gun and shoot me in the head with the tramp. I wish that you were never born. Okay, go. You can do it. What you... oh, my life is over. I might as well. Dev. Now, I know this sounds horrible. My aunt fell down the stairs when she was, pr you know, and she, you know, and I thought maybe you could, you know? Good night, Faye. Mm-hmm. <laughs> of your reading this letter so shatters my spirit that it makes me a stranger to my... Late. What happened? You know my parents. I just sneak out of the house. Stop it, Lizzie. You know that girl. Come on. Oh, come on. 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 And I'm Bev's best friend. <laughs> I just wanted to say how beautiful Bev looks tonight. And to wish her all the happiness in the world. And now that I've said that, maybe one of you could say it to her, too. He's sitting over there. It's a girl that just has this light around her. 
the chair. And when you're near her, you just know something exciting is gonna happen. So if you all think you deserve some sort of a medal for being here just because, you know, the special circumstances. Oh, well, Faye, that's enough. Come no, wait, 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 Mr. D, I'm not finished just yet. If you all think you're so great for being here, then don't bother talking to me either, okay? Because I'm pregnant too. Keep close, don't peek. My boss made me go out for drinks. Wow. Oh, Pam. <laughs> Your water broke. What? What? Did that come from... Is that supposed to happen? Yeah. I was so excited. This is so gross. Maybe it's just the most beautiful. No. Leo, come on. No. It's fun. <laughs> it sure is. after this. People don't think this way. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Um, yeah. Take my word on this. You really do love him. I think that sometimes we love people so much that we have to be numb to it. Because if we actually felt how much we really love them, it would kill us. I love you 
too. This is the greatest conversation of my life. This is the greatest conversation of my life. Uh, okay. <laughs> hey, we're supposed to be a team, right? No! You're supposed to be the mother, and I'm supposed to be the kid! Okay, we've got to focus. They'll never keep us apart. <sighs> I'm not gonna get published and you don't even care. I just saw a guy who hasn't showered in a month, whose teeth are rotting out of his head, who's living in shit, and he's my dad. Don't do this to me. So don't turn this into your problem. Do me a favor. Just pretend to be a good mother for two minutes. Just two minutes out of your whole life while I think about what just happened in there, okay? Normal. Normal. Did you know Amelia came to New York two weeks ago? It's Amelia who wants me to transfer. She wants me to go back and enroll in her school. But I can't go. I can't leave you, because if something bad happens to you, it's my fault. Jason blames me for every horrible thing that happened in his life. Can you imagine?